My guest tonight is a Grammy award-winning rapper and actor who has appeared in seven Fast and Furious films. Now he has a new media platform for kids called Kid Nation, and it's a fantastic idea. Uh, this guy's doing great work. Please welcome Chris Ludacris Bridges. How you doing, Chris? What's going on, my man? How you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm getting by. I'm ready for all this to be over. I'm ready to get out there, uh, yeah. have fun. I know you've been hanging out. Is it is your place outside Atlanta? Is that where it is? No, I mean, it's south side of Atlanta, so it's one of the suburbs, College Park, where I grew up, went yep. to school. So, yeah, you can say that. Now, now, tell me about this. You're hanging out on a pretty substantial property. I don't want. You, I know you don't want to brag, but I'll brag on your behalf. You've got, like, 22 acres. Is that right? Yes, I do, man. And, I mean, if I was going to be quarantined anywhere, this would definitely be the place to be. So, 22 acres of land. I'm able to, I don't know if you know this or not, but I have all women in my household. So, I have three daughters, all right? no sons i have a wife uh her mother comes and visits my mother comes to visit the only other pair of balls in this household is the dog and me and him walk outside every 15 minutes to get away from all of this estrogen that's in this household so yes 22 acres of land is great thank you i got two things to say first i'm impressed that your dog still has his balls because uh, that was yeah. the first thing to go um they took mine when they took my dogs uh and then the other thing is I gotta say, you got 22 acres, it's perfect. Like if there was a zombie apocalypse, I would say, <laughs> get me to Chris Ludacris Bridges' house. I wanna hang out there. You've got a secure perimeter, right? Yeah, this is the perfect sure. place to be. Absolutely, and a dog who will do anything for me because he wants to get out of this house full of women just as much as I do. Yeah. So yes, if anyone comes anywhere close, he's Adam, believe now, that. And I can't take his balls away. Because we the only two with a pair of balls. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't want to be the only pair of balls. Yeah. So so wait a minute. So you've got all these women in the house. Do you handle that well? Do you like being the only guy, or do you really wish, the dog aside, there was another guy hanging around? And are, <laughs> and are you inviting me over? Is that what's happening? You are 100% invited over. And to answer your original question, you know, to be honest, it's more of an investment. Because when you have all these women you know, later on in life, they're gonna take care of you. You know what I'm saying? If yes. you have sons, what I've heard is, they don't really give a damn when you get older, but when you have daughters, <laughs> you get older and they take care of you. So it's an investment. So it's, it's something to look forward to. This is what I tell my kids all the time. Sometime in the next five years, you're gonna have to start carrying me to the toilet. That's, <laughs> and not because I'm infirm, just because I'm too late. I'm just gonna go limp and you gotta, right. that's your job. I've done a lot. <laughs> Once I pay for college, you're carrying me to the toilet. That's what's happening. Well, listen, I hope you got some strong kids because you are one tall mother <laughs> stuff. I don't know how much you pay, but I can tell you it's going to be, they're going to have to carry you. <laughs> a lot of them carrying you. God damn it, man. Yeah, I know. I got It's going to be take a lot of people. Uh, now, I understand you've got a tennis court that you weren't using before on your property. But now, here's the thing I've noticed about this pandemic. We're all starting to do things we weren't doing before. You started using your tennis court, right? Bro, listen, this tennis court, and you can look on my social media if you want to. The tennis court was just on my property for like over 10 years, just mm -hmm. rotting. I even had a lyric in a song where I said, my, ten my tennis court is rotting and I'm waiting on Serena, like waiting <laughs> on Serena Williams in order to play. Uh -huh. So now I just redid the whole court because I was bored as hell at home. And now I started playing on it. So I'm loving playing tennis and learning to the game and... uh I feel like in about a couple weeks or so, I'll be ready for the Masters, uh, Wimbledon, whatever you guys want to throw at. Me. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're also good at golf because Masters is golf. Sorry, I had to say no, that. Yeah. I had Damn to it. say that. No. <laughs> what I meant to say was I'm a master at yes! tennis. So I'll be ready for any of the Masters. There you go. That <laughs> consider themselves as Masters in the tennis game. Very good. On, That's a very good save, which means you are ready. You have all the requisite skills. Uh, what about your house? I imagine this is a big house. Are you... Are you using every room in your house? Are you finding like you're using spaces? Like in, during this quarantine, I started using my dining room. I wasn't using my dining room a lot and we would use it, but it was always just for company. And now I try and go in there just cause it's a different space. I'm, I'm, I'm finding new uses for things. Let me let you in on a little secret, uh, Conan. I used every room in this house before I was married, but I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, so I'm just gonna i we'll leave that alone. Yes, I, I have used every room in this house. That's Wait, one thing. Wait, okay, let me just, I don't want to get you in trouble, but when you were a single man, yes. you used every room in the house. Oh, for sure. 
And now that I'm a married man, I'm still using every room in the house. <laughs> wow, very nice. I, I've even added on rooms in order to, you know, <laughs> make sure that <laughs> that we use more rooms that weren't here before. <laughs> the whole point. <laughs> so, okay. So even before you were using the tennis court for tennis, you were using the tennis court. I was using the tennis court for golf because I wanted to go to the Masters. Yeah. So I, wasn't really I was just hitting a random golf ball on a rotting tennis court. Very it was nice. so rotten, it would look like grass. That's what I'm trying to tell I you. Love it it. Like I, I love it. It all yeah. comes together. Very nice. Uh, now, go. I know you opened a restaurant that's doing real well. Tell me about this restaurant. What's it called? It, the restaurant is called Chicken and Beer, man. It's named after my third album that went triple platinum, humbly speaking. But to bring it from an idea, an inception of just an album name and then make it into a restaurant, which is in the busiest airport in the world, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport, Concourse <laughs> D, is amazing. So chicken and beer, do you like chicken? Yeah, who doesn't like chicken? I love chicken. Do you like beer? I love beer. Okay, well there you have it, man. You gotta come to chicken and beer. Man. Now, uh, I had a restaurant for about a year just called The Potato, and all you could what? get was a potato. That was it. I'm not believing this right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get in. I, I was great, I trying believe. to get in touch with my Irish heritage, and it was just you could get a potato, and you couldn't get it different ways. It was just a baked potato. That was it. You know, I don't. I'm not offended because a lot of people used to say that I look like Mr. Potato Head, but because <laughs> that's why I got this afro, so that I, you know, I really started getting away from that. But you yes, know, man, I can respect the potato and and uh, all of its vitamins and, and minerals that it has. Inside. <laughs> yeah, that's well, that restaurant so. folded very quickly. Uh, I now, it. I want to talk to you for a second about the Fast and Furious films. You've been in so many of these films, and yeah. um, I this is a true story, uh, absolutely true. Two days ago, I watched Fast and Furious 7 uh, with a friend of mine, uh, my head writer, Matt. We watched it again because uh, the stunts are just so insane. And I just keep thinking, I don't know how they top this because every time I watch the movie I mean in the last movie you guys were driving cars from one tower into another <laughs> tower into another tower you were jumping out of airplanes in cars yeah. uh, it gets to the point where I think what what can you do that hasn't been done already with these cars listen I can't give it away but Conan I can promise you that we are doing something that has never been done so June 25th is the final date because of course we got pushed back sure. because of COVID and theaters not being open. Right. But on June 25th, everyone will have their shot at going to see yet another <laughs> like extremely <laughs> ridiculous, ludicrous, fast and furious movie. That yes. Is all a part of the theater experience. Yeah, I I, I go. For, I'm no stuncer, uh, and I swear to God, I love that everything has to involve a car. Like if you guys have to break into a closet, you've got to drive into the closet in a car you everything has to happen in a car if you have to pretend to be waiters to get the yeah. bad guys you dress up as waiters and you drive into the front of the window of the restaurant in a car i love it facts facts man you know what's even crazier a lot of people don't know this but every single fast and furious i bought one of the cars that was in the movie i've heard this um, i've heard except, this except for the ones where we shot in london where the steering wheel was on the other side of the car and I didn't want to bring that back to the United States of America because um, I didn't want to deal with that. Yeah. But all of the other ones, I bought cars. As a matter of fact, there was one from Too Fast, Too Furious. If we have real Fast and Furious fans on here, there was a Dodge truck that had like a Louis Vuitton wrap on it. I have it. I have it, it right like here. Oh, this wow. is the car and it's a truck, Dodge truck wrapped with Louis Vuitton <laughs> insignias on it. And you bought this car and you drove it around. How did that go? How, how was the experience of driving this car around? It didn't go well at all. I drove it for one day and everyone in the city of Atlanta, Georgia knew it was me. I had a tailgating party like everyone was behind me and it's literally never wanted to drive this car ever again. So I gave it away to my friend at the time so that he could have people follow him all the damn time. Right now, all I drive is my 93 Acura Legend because this is the exact opposite of having a Louis Vuitton wrapped uh, truck. Okay, so you drive a 93 Acura Legend. You, yeah, man. Ludacris, drives yeah. around in a 93 Acura Legend. 
So this is a car that I had before I was commercially successful as a rapper. One of my favorite cars has over 250,000 miles on it. Still drive it to this day. That's the, it's the car that I drive the most. You know what I had? I had before I got on television, I had a 92 Ford Taurus. What? Not, don't give me attitude. That's how the a, hell did you fit in that car? Like you're too tall. Bro. No, I, no, I, I cut you. I cut, I cut a hole. I cut a hole in the roof. You okay. know, okay. and uh, but I would drive around this car. Ladies love a '92 Ford Taurus. Okay, really? this thing was okay. a magnet. All right. They so didn't even care who was driving. They were like, whoever's in that Ford Taurus, I've got to be with that man. So and the same way I said I took advantage of every room in my house, you took advantage of every seat in the Ford Taurus is what you're trying to tell. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, this it. was and I could it was insanity. And I kept that car. I still have that car to this day I because it, it brings back so many wild memories. But one day me and you have to drive our <laughs> Acura Legend and Ford Taurus around the town just to do it okay, okay? let's it do it let's, this, this is what i want to do i want us to do that but first i want your acura and my Taurus to be wrapped in the louis vuitton logo then we drive them around now i gotta ask you about this you uh got a car that bounces and we have actually some footage of you bouncing in this car uh -oh. let's right. show the footage and then i want you to explain <laughs> Why? Let's take a look. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's not me doing that, baby. That's the car doing that. <laughs> okay. Why yeah. do you need a car that does that? What does it? What does it do for you? Listen, man. This is a very good reason. Like most of the time, we listen to music. We're in the car, right? Right. Right. You need a car to dance with you when you dance, 100%. <laughs> now you're laughing, but this is true, man. Sure. Who the hell wants a car if you're dancing and the car is staying still? Yep. Come on, Conan. That's right. That makes no sense whatsoever. Your, you're right. Your car needs to be able to dance with you. That's I can see I that. Yes. Yeah. Is... Think about your Ford Taurus if it was able to bounce the same way that that uh, Mercedes Maybach did. Yeah. It would have been you... a whole different situation. and your car would have been doing most of the work with the women that you were with in the four tours. You wouldn't have had to do much. Guess what? I'm told I didn't do much. Oh, well, I get a lot of complaints about. back okay. in the day. A lot of complaints. I okay. just, I tend to lay perfectly still. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the car was the only thing that moved. I look, I'm very shy and I don't like to move. Um, yeah. That's uh, by the way, what did you think of my dancing? Chris, what do you think? It was terrible. Which terrible. Is terrible. Yeah. yeah, you're a blatantly honest guy, so I'm sure you wouldn't mind me being blatantly honest back to you. Your dancing is terrible. What are you you're talking really about? I'm exploring the space around no, me. No, no, no. You need a car that bounces, man, immediately. <laughs> for sure. All right. If you, ever go, if you ever go to Wimbledon or the Masters, make sure you don't dance in the stands. I know. The I, will. I will. I will. I will. I'll be. You're right. This is good. And you know what? You've been a good friend to me over the years. And you being honest with me, I really appreciate it. Because I think a lot of people would have said, yeah. Conan, you're the best dancer I've ever seen. You cut right to the chase and you saved me. You, you kept thank me you, humble. Man. And I thank you. Oh, for sure. One hundred percent. Sometimes some, certain things just aren't for us, man. You need to concentrate on other things. Yeah. OK, please tell me what that is, because I've never figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. Let's talk about uh, Kid Nation, uh, uh, because this is a really good idea. And um, I think this deserves to be discussed on the show, because this is something you came up with. And I really love it. Why don't you explain what Kid Nation is to people who don't know? Absolutely, man. It's a platform that I just launched. Of course, it's for children. Um, it's enriching content. So you have all this music talking about science, talking about math, talking about eating vegetables, drinking water. And it's all a safe place for kids and parents to go to, especially at a time where there's a lot of virtual schooling. Yep. We need supplemental edutainment, as I like to call it. So it is a platform and it's an app. So KidNation.com. Um, I mean, when you see it, it's going to 100% do way better in explaining than I can. It's, it's so enriching and it's so great for the times right now. It's just me trying to balance out all that adult entertainment that I've been making for the last 20 years. Yeah, so I, I think, first of all, I think it's a great idea. And when I was growing up, there was something called Schoolhouse Rock. Yep. And it was really good music that actually 
I, I think my concept or my original knowledge of how a bill gets passed came from Schoolhouse Rock. I learned so much uh, from that. And I've been thinking lately like, oh, someone needs to take this to the next level and make music that's relevant today. So the fact that you're doing just that is that's perfect. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what Kid Nation is. And I'm glad that you understand it. So greatly appreciate you on that, man. I'm just trying to balance out the world. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of craziness going on. It's always good to, to be the change you want to see and put some good back into the universe or the Ludiverse, as I like to call it. Oh, wow. OK. All right. Or the Coniverse, as I like oh, to call no, it. No, 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 no. no that's, that's, that's not that, that doesn't work. OK. Yeah. Put okay. that in the same bag with the dancing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know what? You, I, you're always honest with me. And again, I appreciate it. So. I want to make sure I get the word out. Check out Kid Nation at www.kidnation.com for a free one month subscription. And yep. this sounds uh, like a very, very uh, valuable tool. This is something kids need right now. My kids need this right now. So thank you for doing it. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, man. Greatly appreciate it. And you know, I'll always be uh, coming up with more exciting things. So we'll talk again soon. All right, well, I'm coming to your house. Uh, we're gonna yep. hang. Um, I gotta get my tour. car, gotta get my Taurus fixed and I'm, I'm gonna make it out there because you need some more. Who's got more male energy and masculinity than this guy? I will come to your house and I'll help you. All right, sounds like a plan, man. Me and my dog will be waiting. <laughs> okay, uh, hey, take it easy, Chris. You'd be good. Ludacris, everybody. Yes, appreciate you, man.